Beast Storm Simulator has a lot of items. <laughs> like seriously, look at this. I'm starting to think there's a bit too many. So that's why in this video I'll be ranking literally every single item in Beast Storm Simulator that you can hold inside of your inventory. I have a feeling this is going to take a really long time to make, so if you enjoy, drop a like, and let's just get right into it. So starting off with a 7 pronged cog, I'm putting it in trash. Beside one Ready Player 2 event that causes us nothing but pain and suffering, the 7 pronged cog which you can get by redeeming 7 codes isn't really useful, although you do get yourself these drippy glasses. Next item we have is actually the Ant Pass. So I'm gonna say it's alright, because they're not too difficult to get. The Ant Pass is just alright in my opinion because Panda Bear quests require a lot of ant challenges, and Panda Bear gives you a star egg which I'll later get into. And yeah, I have 24 Ant Passes somehow, I'm not sure how that happened. I guess I won't be claiming my free Ant Pass for a while. Moving on, we have the basic egg, S tier. The basic egg is most likely going to be the first egg you ever hatch, except if you're paid in one and spend half a million robux on diamond eggs trying to get mythics. I've seen people do it before, trust me. You're most likely going to get the basic bee from the basic egg, and the cool thing about it is you actually have like a 1 in 300 chance to get a gifted basic bee, more specifically 1 in 287 for all you bee swarm nerds. So that means in order to gift basic bee, you don't actually need a star tree or some flower seeds. You can literally just hatch basic eggs, which you can buy for honey. It's a very simple process, okay? Basic egg, very pogger. Beequip case, S tier. It stores beequips, and a lot of them. Do I really have to say more? Bitter berries, it's all right. Bitter berries are like the cheaper version of the atomic treat. If you use a neon berry and then use some bitter berries, you have a chance of getting a mutation. It's cool if you have five hours to spend trying to get the perfect mutation, which has a 1% chance of actually dropping. Black balloon, A tier. Balloons are a very cool concept in my opinion. Black Balloon is the best balloon of them all. Festa Bean, S tier, people make quadrillions of honey. Magic Bean, A tier. Blue Clay Planner, it's alright. Blue Drive, it's alright. I added a few new rows, so Blue Clay Planner, pretty good item. Blue Drive, only useful sometimes. It's only really useful on your digital bee. I'm gonna put all of the drives into the pretty good item section, because all of the people on the all-time honey leaderboards are only on there because of digital bee. Digital B is so overpowered if you level up your drives, which I didn't do unfortunately, and that is why I'm poor. The yeah, drives are pretty cool, it's a very cool concept. Blue Extract. It's alright, it doesn't grant you the best boost, and it's useful in crafting. I guess same can be said for the Red Extract. Box of Frogs, eh, I'd say it's trash. It doesn't really help you at all, it's just a cool item to collect. And that might explain why I have 41 of them. Broken Drive. Only useful sometimes. I haven't even collected my broken drive because it's only useful in the summer when you cannot act as Robo Bear, so only useful sometimes to hits it perfectly. Only useful if you don't have Robo Bear and you're a noob. Candy Planner, only useful sometimes. Caustic Wax, only useful sometimes. Cloud Vial, pretty good item. Actually, no, I'm putting it in A because it helps you get Windy Bee, one of the best bees in all Bee Swarm. Windy Bee is just so hot. Windy Bee is just so beautiful. Coconut, the coconut nut is a big, big nut, and it's alright. Coconuts are probably one of the easiest things to get in all of Beast Swarm, and that is why I have 4,400 of them. Coconuts drop from the coconut crab and from the dispenser, and they're used to craft the clogs and the canister. So without coconuts, I guess we wouldn't have the canister, the best backpack in the game. And now we have cogs from the Robo Party. I'm putting it in only useful sometimes, because you can literally only use them inside the Robo Party. I'm gonna put the comforting file and the rest of the files in not terrible, but not good. I do have to admit, files have saved my boost after my macro stopped working in the middle of the night. But there's no way of really getting them. You can only get them during Beastmas, and even then, they're hard to come by. Yeah, so vials, they're pretty cool. Diamond Egg, I'm gonna say it's a pretty good item. It is used to craft the Diamond Mask, which I don't have equipped, so there's plenty of ways to get Diamond Eggs for free. You can get them by doing bear quests from around the map, you can buy them with Robux, and they're not too rare to get in drops from Stump Snail and King Beetle. So yeah, Diamond Eggs are also pretty poggers if you ask me. And yeah, nothing more to be said. Enzymes, eh, only useful sometimes. The Extinction, A tier for usefulness. A long time ago when Beast Storm first came out, the only way you could get a new bee is by evicting a bee. So back then, it's pretty useful, so A tier for nostalgia. Tell me in the comments if you remember using these. Field Dice, eh, not terrible but not good. That's why we have loaded dice, which by the way, deserve to go into S tier. Festive Planner, I'm going to say, this goes into A tier. So satisfying hatching these, especially if you get something like a Mythic Egg. Gifted Diamond Egg, I'm gonna say pretty good item. They're not even that hard to get. Both Riley and Buckwoobie gives you a Gifted Diamond Egg for doing something like 100 quests. 
Or 50. I don't know. It's not too bad. Gifted gold egg. It's alright. Gifted myth keg. Eh, it's also a pretty good item. If you didn't know, I've never actually used or donated a gifted myth keg in my life. Not on this count, at least. I've done it on plenty of others, but yeah, I have six gifted myth kegs, and that number is only gonna go up. Maybe one day I'll donate like 10 million gifted myth kegs to the wind shrine in the main game, not even the test realm. Gifted silver egg. Eh, what can I say? It's alright. So you might look at this and say, why are there two gingerbread bears? Well, inside a beast form, you actually do have two types of gingerbread bears. You have gingerbread bears, you have normal gingerbread bears, and aged gingerbread bears. So let's just pretend this is a normal gingerbread bear. It's a pretty good item. The aged gingerbread bear, though, I'm gonna say it's an A tier. Because once you have a bunch of gingerbread bears, you can literally waste all of them on your hive. You just gain so much confidence when you have aged gingerbread bears. You don't feel bad. You don't feel like you're using part of your body when using them on your hive. Moving on, we have glitter, S tier. Glitter is the big daddy material. Along with loaded dice, it can help you get the 4x fuel boost. I'm gonna say glue is a pretty good item, <laughs> though it is pretty painful to get sometimes. I think glue is actually required in the most amount of items to craft, except honey. Literally every item requires honey to craft. Speaking of glue getting painful to get, I don't think I have enough. Let me get my extra 5, thank you on it. Gold egg? Eh. Not terrible, but not good. Gumdrops, S tier. Gumdrops are very common, probably one of the most common drops you get from mobs. Once more? Except honey. Honey is guaranteed from every single mob job, I think. If someone tells me in the comments I'm wrong, I'm gonna ban you. Anyway, next we have hard wax. Eh, only useful sometimes. It's useful in crafting. Now we have the heat treated planter. It can go in pretty good item. The heat treated and hydroponic planters are pretty much the better version of the red clay and blue clay planters. Although I haven't even crafted the heat treated planter. Maybe I'll do that soon. If this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll craft the heat treated planter. Eh, hydroponic can go in here as well. Where's the red clay? I'm gonna put red clay in also a pretty good item. It is so cheap, and it gives you great nectars. Honeysuckles, I'm gonna say it's trash. Box of frogs goes in life in prison if you use. This is an item you collect, you never use these. Honeysuckles, they can go in trash. I don't even know what they do. I have 14,000 of them, and I'm not sure how good they even are. But yeah, they don't do much for endgame players like me. Jelly beans? I'm gonna say it's alright. They don't make or break a boost like they used to. Because like two years ago, every single boost depended on jelly beans. If you don't get good RNG with jelly beans, or if you don't have jelly beans at all, your boost is gonna be garbage. But now you don't live for jelly beans, so that's nice. Marshmallow bee, I'm gonna say A tier. They're very good, but at the same time, I could probably use them in life in prison if you use, because they're just so rare to get. I only have six. Back in my day, marshmallow bees dropped from Mondo Chick. You literally used to get like five marshmallow bees from Mondo Chick. Let me know in the comments if someone remembers that. We have Micros, S tier. Perfect for boost, beautiful moon charms, eh, only useful sometimes. Myth Gag, S tier. Every Beastworm player lives for the Myth Gag, whether it's from Brown Bear or from Black Bear or from Mother Bear. Just kidding, Mother Bear doesn't give you Myth Gags. Every Beastworm player desires those Mythic Bees. Neon Berries, I'm gonna put them right next to the Bitter Berries, it's alright. Actually, I'm gonna move both of these down to only useful sometimes. Uh, Night Bell, Life in Prison Fuse. This is another item like the box of frogs. You only collect these items. I've only ever used them for videos and nothing else. For personal use, you never want to use them. Oil? Eh, I'm gonna say pretty good item. Because it speeds you up. It's like a turbocharger inside a beast form. Atometry? Life in prison if you use. Another item that you can never use and only collect. 28 atomic treats I've acquired over the years. I did get a bit greedy and use them trying to get bee ability rate on a few bees back in the day. But besides that... Please don't use atomic treats. Please just only save them. Paper planter. Eh, it's garbage. The only reason I see someone using it is for quests. Now we have the toxic Chernobyl atomic pesticide planter. Yeah, pretty good item. A lot of planters are pretty good. I will say the petal planter is A tier. Okay, pineapples. Pretty controversial. Does anyone here like pineapple on pizza? Because I do. Although I haven't eaten it in years. Anyway, pineapple can go on. Only useful sometimes. I guess the same can be said about literally any treat in Beast Worm. Normal treat- actually no, normal treat goes in test here because... What other way would you get your beast to level 20 except with treats? Just normal treats. Not like strawberries and pineapple treats. There is no way in hell someone is ever getting a level 20 bee with pineapples. And treats are the only way to go, even if they require you to spend 3 quadrillion honey on them. Now we have the pink balloon. Eh, I guess, eh. Only useful sometimes. No, you know, I'm just gonna say it's trash. Same can be said for the red balloon. White balloon? Eh, 
It's alright. Snowflakes are A tier. Snowflakes are such a cool thing to get. I still have 17,000 in my inventory, even though Beastmas is over. I'm doing a little experiment to see if my snowflakes will save until the next Beastmas. Who knows? The Planner of Plenty. I'm just gonna say it is S tier because if you have grinded out to get this item, you deserve to be in the Supreme tier. And that's because I feel bad for you. You probably lost all the sanity inside of your body grinding for that Planner of Plenty. If you don't recognize this item, I didn't either at first. Apparently, they were used back in Brown Bear's 2019 Egg Hunt. The player had to find all three to finish Brown Bear's Egg Hunt quest. Which award did Marshmallow be? We don't get enough of those anymore. If you by any chance have a plastic egg, it is probably the rarest item in all of Beastorm Simulator. I'm not sure if they got deleted from your inventory, but life in prison if you use. I guess you can also call it trash because it's completely useless and the word's nothing. Now we have the plastic planner. Absolute garbage. You can go right next to the paper planner present. I'm gonna say A tier. They, this is such a beautiful item, like it's just so aesthetically pleasing. And I love handing them to bears who probably got 50 million other presents from different players in that same beastmas. Purple potion. Vitamin called purple potions annoying. You know what this means. Life in prison if used. We must obey every single word vitamin says. Because he is king. And also I don't want them to sting me in the balls. Royal jelly. S tier. For self-explanatory reasons. This is the Europa Pass. Only useful sometimes. Obviously. Not terrible. Not good. Silver egg can go here. Smooth Ice. I'm gonna say it's alright. Star Egg. You know what? I'm gonna put it in A tier. Star Eggs are the best if you save them until your end game and you get a guaranteed Mythic Bee with them. But we all know as soon as someone gets a Star Egg from Mother Bear, they use it and they get a Gifted Fire Bee. Or a Gifted Rascal Bee. One of the two. So, that's why it's A tier. Soft Wax. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say trash. I remember the soft wax grind from the Beastmas from two years ago. It was so much pain. I had to hire my friend to do it for me. P.S. I didn't actually hire him. He did it for free. Look at this. I had to collect 555 soft wax tokens. Now we have the spirit pedal. Absolute beauty. You can go into S tier. Although it probably causes a lot of Beastworm players quite a bit of suffering. Sprinkler, S tier. Star Jelly. I'm gonna say pretty good item. It's not like you're gonna be crafting it when you're endgame, so... It's cool if you're early game, a lot of people strive to get it, and it's especially cool if you just unlock a new area, like the 35B area, or like the Ace Shop, or like the Badge Shop, and you get yourself a couple of free Star Jellies. Always feels great, but besides that, not the best item in the world. Star Treat. You know what, this is actually going into S tier. Although I hate to admit it, Star Treats are like the second best way to gift your bees, right behind Fruits. Fruits is like the cheapest, especially if you macro, but if you're not macro cringe, then Star Treats are the way to go. Even if you do macro, I myself have probably spent like 50,000 tickets on Star Treats in, in my Beastorm career. Yeah, so they're pretty cool. Stingers, I'm gonna say, pretty good item. Actually, let's put it in A tier, because two hive colors actually require it to function. Both red and white, because one of their passive abilities is actually Star Saw, and Star Saw requires stingers to work. Star Saw without stingers is like car without fuel, it just doesn't work. If Blue Hive needed singers, I would put it into S tier, but it doesn't. Super Smoothie, we will say, we will say it is S tier. Caustic Wax, only useful sometimes. It's only good for crafting. Tacky Planner, let's say pretty good item. Ticket Planner, eh, it's alright. It's very cool if you're early game, because it's pretty simple tickets that you can get for free. You can probably get like 20 tickets per planner, and it only takes 2 hours to grow. Perfect. Tickets, S tier. Tickets are like gold in real life. God's currency. You can buy anything with tickets. Accept your sanity back after spending 13,000 tickets on Star Treats. Which I did, by the way. I might have forgot the blueberry, so where did I put all the fruits? Only useful sometimes. Same with the treat. I already put the treat somewhere. I guess the treat can go into S tier twice. This just shows how good it is. Translator? Uh, I'm gonna say only useful sometimes. You only get three. Turpentine. Life in prison if you use. If you use it for crafting, that's fine, but if you use it on your hive, you actually deserve to be locked up in jail, because you are a menace to society. Whirly gig, I'm gonna say, not terrible, but not good. Actually, you know, I think it deserves to be only useful sometimes. And lastly, we have the tropical drink. I'm going to put it in, it's alright. Now, you know what, I think it deserves to go in the same slot, but actually, no, I'm gonna move it up. The only thing that gives you white boost, except super smoothie, is actually the tropical drink. Purple potion doesn't even give you a white pawn multiplier. So yeah, tropical drink plus purple potion is the ultimate duo. So yeah, that's why it goes into pretty good item. 
and tell me what you think of this tier list. Did I absolutely screw it up with my biased opinions by being an endgame player? Or did I do a pretty good job? Tell me in the comments. So yeah, if you enjoyed, drop a like and sub, and click on the video on screen. It's pretty cool. Goodbye. Peace.